What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning back in today. It's a nice lazy day out. It's fall, falls upon us. It's hoodie sweatshirt weather. I absolutely love it. But today we're gonna be talking about LED lights and some resistors. Um, whenever you guys change out LED lights, which most of you do, and I definitely have, we have that issue on the turn signals where the flasher turns fast. So today I'm going to be talking about why that happens and how to remedy that for your truck. First, I want to give a shout out to uh, Greg A. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's a lot bigger than I am, but he gives out some really awesome uh, shirts over here. He's got this Wrench Works brand. They're really comfortable. The sweatshirts are like super, super high quality. I know a lot of other places you get their merchandise and they get something that's just printed on there and it's kind of a shitty shirt and it only lasts like two months maybe if that. This is probably one of the first sets of actual like YouTuber, you know, precision or whatever shirts that they put out that is an actual nice hoodie sweatshirt they got that they've got hats a couple other things so just big shout out to him for actually putting out good merchandise for his followers but anyways today we're gonna to be talking about LEDs I've put LEDs in the truck already but I I don't really like the turn signals that I do have already uh, they do have the flash fast going on on the truck so I'm gonna be talking about doing some resistors I picked up these resistors right off of eBay um, I'll put the part down into the description below and um, so you guys be able to get those they're really cheap really inexpensive they're like 20 bucks for a pair of them and you know it's something that's really easy to do as I will show you here in a little bit but I also got some different LEDs for my turn signals I had held off on that for a little while and then eventually switched over to them but these are the ones that I went with they were JDM a star 1260 lumen turn signal bulbs I think they're gonna turn out a lot better the ones that I have in there right now they're just cheap like $14 ones that you can get from AutoZone I was just in that mood one day cruising through AutoZone and they had those there so I went with them and now my turn signals flash fast so why does that happen so in these GM vehicles at least I can't say that for all vehicles but in these GM vehicles at least they have a module in there that dis that detects the um, resistance of the bulbs that you have in there so normal you know filament bulbs they draw so much ohms of resistance and then as everybody knows LEDs draw a whole lot less power less amperage so they're going to produce a lot less resistance on the circuit so when the amount of power goes through those standard bulbs the flasher is able to see that okay they are drawing the correct amount of resistance so they flash normally so on the older vehicles that's how they tell you if a bulb is out if one of the front bulbs is out if it's reading an incorrect resistance it starts to flash fast on some of the Chevys if the rear bulb is out it just you turn your turn signal on and it just holds on so that's how it's able to tell you if you have a front or a rear one out now the new ones they're all module controlled so they have lamp out indicators in the body control module they're able to you know tell the resistance of where the uh, bulb is out at to be able to tell you but in this older vehicle it's not like that so we're gonna get down to our turn signals and we're gonna show you how to put these resistors in and what they are so here's our front end and we've all had this thing apart a million times so we're just gonna fast forward So we'll just pop these out real quick. 
So these are the ones that I have gotten off of just AutoZone, you know, just cheap Zevo, I think is the brand. So these, they have a different resistance than the newer bulbs. So in line, we have these new style resistors. There are two plugs to it. You have a female and a male. The male part of it plugs directly into your existing socket. The female is what the new style LED plugs into. And then it's going to create a more of a resistance which will uh, tell, pretty much fool the, the flasher into saying, okay, this thing has a normal resistance bulb in it and the bulb is not out. So the flasher won't have to flash fast. So normally a, a standard filament bulb has about six and a half ohms of resistance and these LEDs they they pull a lot less amperage so they have a lot less resistance to what will make these lights actually light up. So I'm going to go grab an ohm meter and show you guys what these things actually output. So this may be kind of hard to show but I'm going to have to do this with as many hands as I can here. So I'm going to check the resistance of a standard bulb here yeah, we're like three and a half four ohms of resistance. So the ones that I had picked out, they've got the direct plug in and they're like eight ohms of resistance. So when we check the resistance on this one, maybe I can get a good connection here. Or maybe not. Go, go, gadget fingers. There we are. That's a ground one, and we have no resistance on that one. So we have eight and a half ohms of resistance on that circuit. So that's, I'm trying to just kind of hoping that this will work out. They have direct wire in ones that are the three and a half to four ohm resistance, but I think this will do the trick. They also have um, heat fins to, be, to uh, relieve some of the heat in the wiring for the resistors as well. So we're gonna hopefully see that this will work. If not, I'll just have to get the wire in ones, but these were just easier to plug in and that's what I found was a cheaper solution. So this will be the one that I had plugged in before to show you how it was flashing fast. There we go, flashing fast. And to show you the reason why I was replacing this one is when you look at the front of it, it doesn't have a light that actually shines outward. So with the smoke beams, it just, or with the smoke lamps, it just didn't have enough out light output for me. Yes, it is bright and everything, but off to the sides. So I wanted something that had a forward facing uh, LED filament to it as well. So now we'll see what it's like with the new bulb plugged in with the resistor. So then here is with the resistor plugged in, just standard to the female plug, and then our new LED light. It's got, wow, it's really bright, 1260 lumens worth. Uh, it's got three different sides of the LED lights with six LED filaments in each of those and then also pointing out the top with three LED filaments uh, facing out of those. So this light is going to be quite a bit brighter. I think those cheap ones I got at AutoZone were rated at like, I want to say like five or six hundred lumens and this one's rated at 1260 lumens. So I'm going to put this one into the housing. Notice I do have the smoked housing still and we're going to tell the lumens difference between this one and the kind that you get at AutoZone as well. So I was wondering what it would do. This one is plugged in with the resistor and then this one still has the standard bulb in it. I was wondering what it would do with the flashers, but evidently just having one bulb out will not cause the flashers to flash fast. Something I didn't know, something you can learn today, but let's see how uh, bright they are comparatively. The new one and our old one. These are both LEDs. But like I said, that one doesn't have a forward facing bit to it, and then this one does. I'm a lot more impressed with that one. I like that one. 
how much brighter it's going to be. I think that's more the look that I'm going with. One other quick little easy side note is the resistor, when you put that one in, the female that plugs into the, or the male that plugs into the existing female socket, it's just going to be hanging out there. So make sure you fill that thing with dielectric grease because it still is out in the elements. We don't want that thing getting all corroded and filled with just nonsense and gunk. Zip tie up what you don't have so everything in the resistors aren't banging around. You know, just zip tie them up nice so you have that thing a little bit more clean and it's going to have less uh, rust and corrosion down the road. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit of something today. I know I did with the flashers at least. And um, it's been a fun little trip. And make sure you guys check me out over on Instagram. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I post like every other day right around there with the truck, with tool stuff, some of the new organizing uh, things that I've gotten. And I've gotten a whole lot of comments wanting a, a new toolbox tour of my new toolbox. And it is coming, I promise. I've just got a bunch going on in my life right now. And I'm just kind of waiting on a couple more organizer things. I want that box to be tip top up to shape to be able to show you guys how awesome it really is going to be when I get done with it. I'm going to go over with my computer set up in it as well. So big things are coming with that one. I've got a couple more things come with the truck. I think I've decided that I'm going to do a full headlight build this winter. Also cut these things apart, show you how they separate, put some LEDs, um, halos in it as well. Just something fun, new and different to do. You don't see that too very, you know, all that often here on YouTube. So. That's about all I got today. Thanks for tuning in, and you guys stay awesome.